the name of the Lord. Greetings in the name of our Lord and husband Jesus Christ. This is Understanding the Times on Maranatha Radio, and I'm Samuel Wan. I want to thank the Lord for His faithfulness over your life and my life and our families, for keeping us and protecting us in the midst of the global pandemic. I want to thank the Almighty for sparing your life and my life to see another beautiful day. I pray that you and I will make the best use of this season. May we be a part, partaker of the blessings of the season, and we shall never be a partaker of the evil and calamity of this season in the name of Jesus. This is Understanding the Times, a period where I'm sharing by the Spirit of God, in the Word of God, what the Bible says about the seasons that we are living in. We want to make sense about what is happening all over the world. We want to look at what is happening in our times in line with scriptural prophecies so that we can know where we stand in divine agenda and calendar. You see, God has a plan and God has an agenda and a, a calendar. Jeremiah 29, 11, the scripture says, I know the thoughts I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil. And so God is a master planner. The Bible says God is not a God of confusion. He's a God of order. It is from God that humanity got the wisdom of calendar. It is from God humanity got the wisdom of time. So God has timing and God has calendar. But God's time and calendar is not like our whole. So we are looking from the word of God what is God's calendar. And I'm looking at what season are we now. And I've been saying it in the past nine broadcasts that it is very clear when the season of the end times but not yet yeah. the last days. the indicators of this season, the evidences that shows us the season where we are, we, we are in. And I've shared about three or four with you, and I'll continue today to share another one. Even though, by the Spirit of God, I will still be doing some extensive analysis of all this. But I'll be mentioning them in the next few broadcasts, the indicators and the signs of the end times. You see, the same way you wake up in the morning and then you look from your window and you can know whether it is morning or afternoon or evening or sunset or midnight. The same way there are things we will see that will make us know what season we are living in. Disciples of Jesus asked him in Matthew chapter 24, right before his ascension, they asked him, they said, Father, Master, tell us what are the signs we are going to see of your soon coming. And then he listed in that scripture a lot of things that will be happening and the frequency and magnitude of their happening that will let us to know the season we are living in. Let me share another one with you today. In the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 7, the Bible says, For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places various places. The scriptures here is talking about natural disasters in various places. Natural disasters happening in many parts of the world, almost simultaneously. The occurrence of natural disaster is not an end time event alone. Natural disasters have always been with men for generations. But the peculiarity of natural disasters and the and the end times is the widespread of the natural disasters, the types of the natural disasters, and the magnitudes of the natural disasters. Let me repeat. Natural disasters have always been with man from the beginning. But the scripture says when natural disasters start to happen, and there are different types of natural disasters, when natural disasters are of enormous magnitude, when natural disasters are happening in diverse places and various places, and almost at the same time, then something is truly amiss. As I'm talking to you, every continent, every continent of the earth had its own fair share of natural disasters in the last 
10 years. I'm not even going to talk about from, from the beginning of the 21st century. In the last 10 years, about 35 to 40 major catastrophes have befallen humanity in record times, in, in recorded history. But you see, out of these, more than 70% are natural disasters, and they have occurred more in recent times. By natural disasters, we mean earthquakes, cyclones, famine, drought, plagues, like the one we are experiencing now, floods, tidal waves, tornadoes, floodings, uh, extreme heat, heat waves, forest fire, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, hurricanes, storms, cyclones, tornadoes, blizzards, landslides, mudslides, and limnic eruptions. So natural disaster is a wide issue. The scripture says when these things start to occur in many places at the same time, causing so many massive destructions, and of high magnitude, then it is a very important thing we should take note of. Many of these natural disasters in history have claimed lives. Cyclone, for example, in my research, have claimed over 100,000 lives. Drought have claimed over 43 million lives, I mean 45 million lives in human history. Plagues have claimed close to about 90 million lives. Floods have claimed more than 10 million lives and on and on. And over the years, you will see these natural disasters increasing at an alarming rate. Let me just share the last, the last 10 years with you. And these statistics will shock you. I, I'm not telling you fables. I'm not telling you stories. I'm telling you international recorded, international statistics. I'm telling you facts and figures that you can confirm anytime, any day. In the year 20, 2017, the world recorded globally about 389 natural disasters. Can you believe that? 389 natural disasters. In the year 2008, the world recorded 248 natural disasters. In the year 2009, the world recorded 379 natural disasters. In the war 2010, the war recorded 420, 420 natural disasters. In the year 2011, the war recorded 352 natural disasters. In the war, in the year 2011, the war recorded, the war recorded 360. In the war, in the year 2012, the war recorded 355 natural disasters. In the year 2000, 2013, the world recorded 362 natural disasters. 2014, it was 373 natural disasters. 2015, it was 373 natural disasters. 2016, it was 375 natural disasters. 2016, it was 375 natural disasters. 2017, it was 399 natural disasters. 2018, it jumped up. It was 415 natural disasters. 2019, that we have just ended, three or four months ago, it was 409 natural disasters. These things are happening all over the world. You see, it is the people that it happened to that feels it most. The regions of the world where it happens, because you see, the world is so big, what happened in a part may not affect another part, except it's something very serious that affects the economy. But if it doesn't affect the global economy, the rest of the world moves on. And so some things happen in a place because it didn't happen where you are living, and may it not happen, may it not happen where you are living, you feel it is not happening. Africa is blessed, sincerely. Africa is blessed. The major natural disasters that have, that have hit Africa it has, has always been anything that to do with agricultural drought and maybe a little bit of uh, flood. And those floods, are, most of them are because of our way of life. All right? But most of the natural disasters that have taken place have claimed lives. 
they have not really affected Africa much. And that is why, you know, Africa is the center of the world today. The future of the world is in the end of Africa. Africa is the bride. Africa is where the nations of the world will converge. Africa is, is the major battle between China and, and the rest of the world. Africa is like the bride of the next move in all the agenda of humanity. And, and all over the world, you will see natural disasters happening. But I said, the reason why many of us don't know is because it is not happening where you are taking place. Let me give you 2020 statistics. This year, yes, we are just in April now, okay? So January, February, March. What has happened this year, it will shock you. In the year 2020, these are the things that have happened. Between the year, the end of 2020 and 20, 2019 and 2020, the wind, the European wind storm season, you know, have commenced. Between that year, 2020, 2019 and 2020, was the East African locust infest, infestation. In fact, this was the major issue on the news before the corona thing started. The, there was a very low, heavy locust infestation in East Africa. The, there was already fear that farming this year will be disrupted. And they have already started warning the rest of Africa, which is more of an agric uh, continent, that this issue of locust infestation should be taken seriously. Now our nations and our government have put their eyes up because of Corona. The tendency is that when Corona goes, then we face another issue. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm just telling you the reality of what is happening. Also this year, 2020, there have been flood and mudslides in Brazil. In the midst of all these years, and this year 2020, we have had in Iran and Turkey earthquakes this year 2020. So, these things are happening. And the scripture says that when we start to see all these things, and happening in diverse places, in unbelievable magnitude, then we should clearly know that we are living in a very peculiar season. Now, this is a season that has been prophesied over the years. How long this season will be, I don't know, and nobody knows. How short it will be, I don't know, and nobody knows. But these are the things that have been prophesied about this season. And I'm sorry to tell you, we are going to have more and more of it. I'm not praying for it. The only thing I can pray is that the Lord will be merciful upon the humanity, and the Lord will shield you, and the covenant is protection shall be upon you. But the prophecies have been given, these events must surely come to pass. We are living at the season of natural disasters. I want to pray for you. The Lord will keep you and your family. The Lord will protect you from every harm and evil. You will go out and come in safely. Your mission on the earth shall be fulfilled. Your days on earth shall be filled with joy and plenty. The purpose of God for sending you at this season shall not fail. You will not fail God. You will not disappoint God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for tuning in to watch me. Uh, I'm going to make sure that when I finish on this series, there's something very peculiar I'm going to share with you. So please keep in touch with me. Keep watching every day and you are going to be blessed. Thank you all that are online with me today. Uh, Prophet Adetunji John, thank you. Dira Ajayi, thank you. Kinsley Akinyile, thank you. And so many others who join us online. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please keep safe. I beg you, keep safe. Coronavirus is spreading in Africa. The Lord will stop it. The, the hand of the Lord will put an end to this evil. But please, please save, take care of yourself, follow all the rules and regulations, and don't be careless. Don't be careless. I love you. I'm praying for you. The glory of God will overshadow you and your family. God bless you all. My name is Summer One. This is Understanding the Times. I will see you again tomorrow at the same time on Maranatha Radio. Bye-bye.